The Concorde is among potentially one of the most iconic aircraft to ever fly in the aviation industry, and is one almost two decades after it was retired that has stuck with many. But why was it scrapped and discontinued? That's the focus for today's video. Stay tuned. Bibelay 51, turn right, heading 180. 14 Papa, turn right 245, report localized established. The Concorde served a role within the aviation industry to offer customers supersonic travel with a top speed of 2,180 kilometers an hour. It therefore dwarfs that of any other aircraft currently in production now, and certainly dwarfed that of any other aircraft at its time. It was in operations for a total of 27 years and typically was able to seat up to 128 passengers. The range varied though from 92 to 128. The program cost a staggering amount of money with it being at around 1.3 billion pounds at the time. Now, given the fact that this was done a long time ago, you can imagine how much money 1.3 billion pounds is in today's money. To give you an idea though of just how much the overestimate of that was, it was originally estimated to cost some 70 million pounds. So that's over a billion more than what was first expected. However, it was eventually retired, like any other aircraft, but I'd argue there's a bit of a twist to that and that will be what I'll be covering now. You might ask why. There's many reasons as to why the aircraft eventually failed, and that's never a good thing, especially when it comes to the safety of the aircraft itself, which was the first major reason as to its downfall. The aircraft was originally grounded after the incident of Air France Flight 4590 that occurred on the 25th of July 2000, two decades ago now. One of the more tragic but also famous incidents for all the wrong reasons saw the Concorde operate or attempt to operate a routine flight from Charles de Gaulle in Paris through to JFK in New York. However, while taking off, the tyre blew and saw debris fly into the landing gear bay, with the fuel tank also being ruptured. Shockwaves occurred throughout the aircraft and ultimately the aircraft was a complete ball of fire and that makes the iconic pictures that you see. All 109 people on board sadly passed during the incident. This particular accident directly relates to the closure of the Concorde. They were all grounded shortly after this original incident with the Air France jet, and investigations followed. It was only soon after that that the Concorde was gone for good. On top of this incident, the Concorde was a very expensive aircraft, from the fuel to the maintenance of the aircraft. This meant that to fly on the Concorde was a luxury, and a luxury that was not achievable, in an era where of course the average working wage was much lower and air travel was more considered a luxury than a necessity, and that's something we've seen drastically change in the past decades. Because of the high operating costs involved with the aircraft, it meant that the actual operators of the jet were constantly seeing their financial state impacted by the supersonic jet's economics and lack of efficiency. Harboring a shorter range than most long-haul aircraft, and especially for its size, it meant that while the concept was lovely, it could only operate on certain services across mostly the Atlantic. It didn't mean it could be safe flown 18 hours around the world and severely reduce the travel time there. That was not possible. On top of this, thanks to its incredible sound, noise standards obviously prevented it from expanding to certain destinations, and if and when it did, it was not often a really welcome sight for the general community surrounding the airport or even on approach, as it impacted their day-to-day -day life. The Concorde still today remains one of the most iconic aircraft to have flown in our skies, and as a lot of people would argue to an extent, ahead of its time, but ultimately the concept had its flaws, and especially as an aircraft for airlines. Will supersonic air travel return? That's a very, very popular question, and potentially. There's already many companies like that have boom supersonic, attempting to work on supersonic travel, but now customers are more looking at your twin engine aircraft, and the Concorde simply doesn't work like that now. There needs to be a way for it to return and for these aircraft to be profitable and efficient moving forward. Naturally, if an aircraft is not profitable nor efficient, why would an airline bring it on? Especially in this day and age where airlines are tenfold smarter than they were. If you have any thoughts on the downfall of the Concorde and of course why it was stopped, feel free to drop it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, also feel free to let me know. Until the next one, please take care and be safe and I'll see you next time.